Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate the support. And if you guys want to support me further, you're more than welcome to do that by going to my Patreon site. The link is in the description below. And obviously you can give me whatever you guys prefer. I've added a lot of different tiers, $1, $3, $5, whatever is affordable to you. Um, and if you want to even just give me one dollar a month, I would appreciate it so much because I, I like knowing that people are appreciating my videos and wanting to support me. I really appreciate that. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about the Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's a random topic, I know, but I think about that a lot because my goal as an INFJ, we're always obsessed with reaching self-actualization. That is the ultimate, that's the first, that's the top of the pyramid. If you know anything about the Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of need, you know that, of needs, you know that the bottom is the physical survival needs. So like food, water, shelter, things like that. And so once you kind of reach that level or you're able to go beyond it, then you reach the other level, which is communities, connection, etc. And then you go beyond that. And then I think the final is self-actualization. I think there's four layers. I'm not really sure about all of them, but I do know that INFJs are mostly mostly concerned with reaching that layer, that level of self-actualization. And for me particularly, that has been the quest, like the ultimate quest of my life. I know that unless I am able to take care of my physical survival needs, making sure that I have enough money to take care of my needs, making sure that I have good shelter, a place that I feel comfortable in, making sure I have enough food to eat or water and all, all of that, I may, unless I make sure that that level or that layer is taken care of, there is no way I can spend my time as I do right now, taking care of my creative needs, my self-actualization needs, doing things that make an impact, caring about the world, trying to contribute or making an impact in the world. Things like that only happen once you take care of the lower levels, once you take care of the lower tiers, right? And so I do recommend, I do love the hierarchy of needs because it's so brilliant, it's very simple, but it's so poignant. And so I do recommend that you guys go read up on it a bit more because I'm not going into detail about the, the hierarchy of needs, but I'm going to focus a little bit on self-actualization and why I believe that one of the main reasons why I've moved to Chiang Mai, a lot of it actually was unconscious at first. You know, I did it and I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm moving there, but my intuition is telling me to move there, so I'm going to do it. And then I moved here and as I started learning more about my life and myself, I realized that there was a point in need, a, a, a need that I had, a desire I had of removing the worries about my survival needs, about the basic survival physical needs, right? Now in Toronto, where I lived before, it's extremely expensive to live there, right? And right now, recently I read that uh, a one bedroom apartment rent is $2,300, $2,300, all right? So that's just the rent, and that's just one of the aspects of living there. Rent is obviously very expensive, but other things, food is obviously very expensive, transportation is expensive, like, there's a lot of different things. I love Toronto, it's one of the best cities in the world to live in, and I realized that that's the reason why it's so expensive, is because the infrastructure is so great, and the life standard of living is amazing. But I realized that I was spending all of my time, all my free time and my other time, all of my time basically working in order to pay all my bills. And I didn't want to live like that. I, I wanted to focus on my creative work and I wasn't able to do that in Toronto. No matter how hard I tried, no matter how early I woke up, I'd wake up at five, so I'd like, I'll, I'd, I'd try to write a little bit before work or I'd try to do it after work, but there was just so much work to do, right? I was working and also I had to take care of my laundry, my chores, and by the time I did all of the work, work stuff, there was no time left over for anything else. I'd go to a yoga class and I'd be dead and I'd fall asleep and I'd get up and repeat over and over again. No time really to do any of my creative work. No energy also, no mental energy or spiritual energy to do my creative work either. And so I realized that I had to make some changes. If I really wanted to live my life according to my values, I had to make some changes. And of course, I moved to Chiang Mai, Thailand because it was cheap. But one of the main reasons I want to talk about Chiang Mai as being perfect for the Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs is because it takes care of all the lower tiers very easily and efficiently. So you can focus on the self-actualization part of it very easily and very efficiently, okay? So of course, because it's cheap to live here, very cheap to live here, you can take care of your housing needs, your food needs, food's so food is so cheap and so delicious. 
Um, and so you don't even have to worry about that. I don't even barely cook. I always eat, eat my meals outside for really cheap, a dollar, two dollars per meal. You can eat expensive meals, more expensive meals if you want to, but mostly food is very cheap. Uh, accommodation is very cheap. Uh, my apartment right now, which is really nice and fancy, is about um, four hundred dollars, which four hundred Canadian dollars, which is around two fifty USD, which is nothing. It's a really nice apartment. Electricity and water bill is very, very cheap. Uh, I think I pay two dollars a month for water, which is crazy. Um, in addition to that, anything related to survival is taken care of very cheaply. So right, you're living here very well, and you're not paying a lot for it. The next need in terms of community connection and all that stuff, there is a big, awesome community here in Chiang Mai, and I'm able to take care of my need for community and connection very easily. Right, really, extremely easily. Right. And so all of the lower level tiers in Chiang Mai are taken care of very, very efficiently. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to think about it, right? It just happens automatically. And so you're able to really jump through all those hoops, through all those levels very quickly, and then go up to that self-actualization level, which is why I love living here. There's many reasons why I love living here. The weather is awesome, beautiful, perfect, hot. I love the heat. Um, there's a lot of greenery, there's national parks nearby, um, there's waterfalls nearby, so there's a lot of nature nearby, there's a lot of beauty in Thailand, people really take care of the offices and the, and the stores, and they just, it's so, it's so aesthetically pleasing here. Um, the coffee is really great, if you guys are into coffee, I'm not, but I love smelling it. Um, the cafes are beautiful and cheap, and you can sit there for hours and hours working and they won't bug you. Um, uh, this big community of uh, spiritual hippie people. So there's a lot of dance mandala classes and tantra yoga classes and and uh, chakra classes and and all of these interesting classes that you can take part in for so cheap. You know, you'd pay a hundred dollars back home in Toronto for it, and you pay five dollars for it here. And so you can partake in a lot of different activities and try them out for very cheap, which means that you're you know you're able to expand and grow at a at a faster and faster rate, right? And so there's, again, as I said, a lot of reasons I love Chiang Mai, but this is one of the main reasons why I think I love it so much is because of the self-actualization aspect of it. It's because I can spend so much of my time doing this, you know, doing my creative work, because I don't have to worry about the bills. I don't have to worry about surviving here. I don't have to worry about working too much or too hard here. So I'm spending a lot of my time and a lot of my money on these things, spending my time doing YouTube videos, spending my time writing books, novels, blogs, etc. Spending my time roaming about and learning more about myself. Spending my time taking care of my self-actualization needs by figuring out how I can make the best impact on this planet uh, unique to me, right? And so I really do, I always tell people, I recommend people not to move to Asia or do this digital nomad thing because of the hype of it, but to realize that the main essence of it is about self-actualization. At least for me, it has always been for that. If I am not able to do that anymore here, then I would move away. But I know every time I go back to Toronto, I slip back into survival mode. I know that I have to make a lot of money in order to live there, so I slip back into it very easily, and I'm not able to focus on my creative work as much, right? So I know that there's a reason, a very important reason why the universe kind of pulled me in this direction. I didn't even know about Chiang Mai when I first started thinking about moving here. I, I barely knew about it. A friend recommended it, and I was like, all right, cool, I guess I'll go there. Obviously, my intuition was very powerful at that point, I was saying powerfully that you should move there, and so I did. But this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to share with you guys why I live here. Again, a lot of people have different reasons for moving to different places, but for me, this has been the main, main criteria for why I would move to a country, is for the self-actualization part of it, for realizing and having the time, energy, money, and all that stuff to do the things I want to do with my time. Not spending it doing things that other one people want me to do. Not being forced to do things that other people need me to do or being forced to do things because I just need to make money or need to survive, but doing things because I want to do them because it's important to me, right? And that's one of the main reasons I wanted to share with you, why I wanted to share with you why I live here. A lot of people have misguided ideas about why people move to Chiang Mai. Maybe there are some people who just do it because it's cheap and because they just want to laser about. But I don't think a lot of people do it for that reason. They do it because it is cheap and they're able to move up the hierarchy and they're able to focus on really truly making an impact. I know of people who have become comedians because of the fact that they had time to focus on the comedy or they've become YouTubers because they had time to focus on that or they've become teachers online because of the fact that they were able to focus on that. And you know, there's so many different reasons for people moving here. 
And so many different ways people can make an impact, but they have to move up the hierarchy in order to be able to do that. And Chiang Mai allows us to do that. Okay, that's why I love it here so much. I hope I was able to explain myself to you. This is a very important topic to me, especially self-actualization in general. Maybe I'll do another video on the hierarchy of needs particularly, but it's so important. I do recommend that you guys go check it out, go research it and figure out where you are on the hierarchy of needs and how you can move yourself up the hierarchy so you can focus completely on self-actualization. Okay. Again, if you guys are interested, you can support me on Patreon. My link is in the description below and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.